Welcome to the Coding Module channel. Today, we will create another VBA tool and explore some Excel VBA functions used for string manipulation. So it is helpful to learn things through the application. So in this exercise, we will create a code that can remove or separate the special characters from this text and place it in column C. And for the text that does not contain special characters, we will put it at column B. So let me show you how this tool will work after we complete it. Clicking the run button will generate a new text with valid characters or valid letters only and a text with only the special characters from the initial text. So clicking the clear button will clear the column B and column C cells. So you can download this template from my uh, website. I will put the link in the description of this window. Just click this uh, icon here so you will get the same template that we will be using for this video. Alright, so after you download the template, open the DBA editor. And here we will start by creating a new module so you can insert a new module by right clicking on the any of this element in the folder or in sheet and insert a new module and we will name this module uh, string manipulation and then we will create our subroutine we will name it process text Alright, so let me place this uh, VBA editor so we can also see our worksheet while we are doing some coding. Okay, so from here, uh, we will declare a variable named valid characters. Should be of type string. So this uh, variable will contain the alphabet letters in lowercase. So let's initialize this variable and assign... Right. I hope I did not miss any letter in there. So next is we need to declare an additional three variable. The first one is the str only variable. This will contain the text without special character. Next is the special cars of type string as well. This variable will contain the special characters from the text. And then the str val should be of type string as well. This will contain each text in column A. So we will be using that variable later in our loop. Alright, next step is to create a for loop. So we will be looping through all the uh, cell in column A. So I will just put a comment in here. So let's add a, or let's create a for loop. For a is equals to two, we will start at two because the because the first text is at uh, row two, to the last row of column a. So we will make this code flexible. So if so that even if you add additional text in here, uh, the the code should still be able to process it. So we will say sheet one that range a and rows that count that and oops I think I need some space in here. Excel app that row. So yeah, I've, I've been using this uh, line of code from my previous Excel, so you should be familiar with what it does. So the next step that we need here is to assign the column A value to our str var variable. I mean the current uh, column A row in this loop. So we will say. I'll put a comment as well. So let's say Esther Ball should be equal to shit once the range A and the counter or the loop counter variable volume. And then after that, we need to initialize our uh, str only and special cars uh, variable because uh, in each start of the loop, both those variables should be equals to an empty string. So, so 
So using a comment is helpful, especially uh, if you will be uh, sharing this code to your teammates. They can easily understand what the following codes will do. Alright, so after that, we need to have another loop to loop through all the letters in our strbal uh, variable. I'll, I'll also add a comment for that. And we need to declare a variable that will hold each letter. So I will just name it str car or maybe letter if you want. And then our loop, we will be using a B as our counter. We cannot use A again because we, we are using that in our main for loop. And this should be equals to 1 because uh, the first letter in our text is starts at index 1. And to know the number of letters that we have in our text, we will be using the length function. This is used for getting the length of the text. So that should be the length of our str val variable. And let's close the loop by saying next b. Let me close my immediate window. Alright, so be before I proceed uh, further, let me uh, try to run it via F8 so you will see how these things are working. So here we have a valid jar that contains the alphabet uh, letters from A to C and then we have three variables here. So for the, the first variable that we will use is the str val. The str val will contain each uh, cell in column A. So based on the loop, and we will initialize each the str only and then the special car variable. Again, they need to be uh, an empty variable at the start of each loop. And then here we will be looping through the uh, all the letters of the str val variable. So now, uh, maybe I can stop this for now. We will assign each letter to the str car or str letter variable. That is str letter equals to, we will be using mid, it is similar to substring of other languages. So in the mid, you need to provide the string that you want to substring. So in this case, it's the str val. And then we will start depending on the counter variable value, which is b. And we want to get uh, each letter, so for the length, we will be using 1. Next step is to check if the character or if the letter is valid. So to, to check if the letter is valid, the letter should be one of this uh, alphabet letter. So to, to know that, it's like a contained function. It's like asking if uh, the valid jar variable contain this letter. In VBA, to do that, we need to use the inString function. So here you want to include, you will include the the, the set of, or, or the, the text where you want to search for a, for a given text. So that will be our valid jar. And then the text that we want to search is the str letter variable, but we need to convert that to L case or lower case first because all our letters is in lower case. And that is our str letter. So now, uh, if it's if it's not equals to zero, meaning greater than zero, it means that the letter exists within the valid jar variable, or it's one of the letter in our valid jar variable. So if that happened, we can say that uh, the letter is a valid letter, and the next step is to concat it to our str only variable. It will say str only is equals to str only. Concat is the ampersand uh, character. And there. Now we need to put an else here for invalid. For invalid letters, we will concat that to the special car variable. So for that, we'll just say. All 
night. I think I need more space in here. So now we can uh, run it via debug or using app page. So you can see how this this thing or how this code will work. So I'm on the first loop. So now uh, our str value is our uh, a2 value. So you can see here that the first letter is L. And here it will validate if L is one of our uh, valid characters. It goes to this block, meaning it's a valid character. So now our str only variable contains one letter now, which is the L. Now it will uh, look for the next letter, which in this case is the asterisk symbol. And in this line of code, it will validate if that is part of the valid characters. It goes to else because it's not. So now that letter will be concatenated to the special cars variable. So if I uh, put a break line here using F9 and uh, try to run it. If I hover to our str only, you can see that it has the laptop value. So that is all the valid characters from the initial text. And then for the special characters, it does not contain anything because I, I forgot to use the S here. So, so but here you can see that the special card variable contain all the special characters from the initial text. So let me fix that. That is the reason why. All right. So I will try this again up using a quick run and a breakpoint for the next loop. And now my special cars variable has value. And SR only value is still the same. All right. So the last or the next step for this subroutine, let's remove the uh, breakpoint first, is to write the value to our column B and column C. So we need to put that code before the next eight line. I put a comment. So we will say shit one because that's the shit with the worksheet name, the range B, and it should be the A because that is our counter variable for for the column A loop. That value that will we will assign there the str only variable and for the column c we will assign the special cars variable all right so we, i can assign that subroutine now to my run uh, shape button so just right click here assign macro select the process text subroutine if i hit this now you see that uh, it was able to separate the valid letters from the initial text as well as the special characters from the initial text. Next, we need to create a subroutine for our clear button. But before we do that, we need to create a, uh, a range or we, we need to create a name range for column B and C. To do that, just highlight this cell up to the last row. And then here in the name box, we will name this clear column B and C. Hit enter after naming that box so that every time we select that uh, name range name, it will automatically select this range of cells. So I will copy that. We will be needing that in our code. Go back to BBA editor. Let's create a new subroutine. I will name it clear column B and C. And here we just need to say sheet one that range, the name range, the range name, that clear contents. So clear contents will not remove the the border as well as the formatting or color if you add some of those. Because if you use clear, it will remove everything, not just the value as well as the cell formatting. Okay. So now uh, that that is the only line we need for our clear. Subroutine. I will assign now that macro to, uh, to the clear button and select that clear column B and C. So if I click that, it will clear that cell. Run, clear, run, clear. 
And that is all that we need for this uh, Excel BBA video. I hope that it helps you. Uh, maybe this is not exactly what you want, but I hope I was able to share to you how you can use some of the Excel BBA uh, function used for string manipulation. And again, uh, you can uh, visit my site to, in case you forget anything from, from what I've said, I, I created a documentation for this tool. You can also download the complete code in this page and there i hope you will be able to use it on your project so if you have any question or you have anything about bba feel free to put that in the comment section of this video if you want to challenge me you can also do that and i will be happy to create a content for that so that's all for today and see you again on the next one